Uber initiates a hiring freeze, Lyft topped the second quarter expectation, and Uber orders 24 thousand Volvos to convert to driverless cars. It's this week in rideshare news. Uber is in the news a lot in the past 24 hours. Initiated a hiring freeze for engineers this week. In fact, they said any job interviews that were scheduled for this week. Many say that it's a move to prove profitability to Wall Street as the company has lost a reported $5.23 billion. Revenue growth has dropped 14%. Uber shares fell 6.4%. And as of Friday, Uber's IPO share is below $45 per share. Lyft didn't seem to do as bad as Uber. They reported $867 million versus the $809 expected. Loss per share was 68 cents per share. The expected loss, $1.74 per share. Shares climbed up to 13%. Lyft expects revenue to reach 3.47 and 3.5 billion this year and reports 21.8 billion active riders on the platform. If you're thinking about purchasing rideshare stock, Lyft might be a good choice. Uber and Lyft hint that they may start charging more for rides. Now, before you get excited, this may not be a pay raise. Lyft officials told investors that they were going to raise rates in an effort to boost revenue per rider. In addition, Uber CEO Dara said that they are fully focused on increasing profitability for Uber. Both companies have entered into the scooter game, self-driving cars, transit agency partnership, and on-demand delivery to really outdo one another. But both companies are still losing a lot of money. I found this article in Wired Magazine. If you're interested in hearing more about how they're going to increase profitability, that link is in the description. And now for my favorite part, the what would you do story. This one is pretty serious and it's probably something that you may encounter in the future. A Lyft driver was picking up a passenger for a shared ride and she saw a family approach. There was a man, a woman, and a child. She said immediately she knew this ride wasn't happening. And so she told the couple, I can't take you guys because it's only one person. The woman said, there's no one else in your car. You can take me and my husband and my child doesn't count. He said that she wasn't going to be able to take them. The child didn't have a car seat and that she would have to order, order another car. The woman said that people do this all the time. It's not a big deal. And that she was bugging. Her man gets mad, kicks the car a few times, actually throws a drink at the car, calls her a broke B, all these different things and completely goes off. The woman, still sitting there, says she's gonna call the police, warns them over and over again. Let me add, when he threw the drink at her, her window was down, so she got the drink all over her, like inside and outside the car, and there's pictures. Apparently the police came, they confiscated the dash cam, and they said if they found this guy, they would arrest him. Um, really <laughs> sad to hear that this happened to this driver, but I, think that there's a few things that she pr should have done differently. The first thing being that if she knew she wasn't going to be able to pick up this family, my thoughts are she could have told them immediately as they approached and then left. There's no reason to get into an argument. You already know they were violating this rules in two ways. One, there's three people. And number two, you see a young child and there's no car seat. There's no need to explain what's going on here and if you have a dash cam or even a camera then you can take that evidence and use that to refute anything that they might say to you um i find it remarkable that she actually stayed and argued and uh, endured the abuse and that kind of thing and maybe because she just thought maybe she could reason with them and talk to them because most people are reasonable but you never know the who the hotheads are and who the crazy ones are um, especially when people start throwing drinks and acting crazy and kicking cars, they really don't have much to lose. And the last thing anyone should do is risk any kind of abuse or vandalism over a $5 ride. So if this happened to you, what would you do in this case? Let me know in the comments. And that is it this week. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Your engagement is very important. Leave a comment if you're watching and if you like what you see. If you're not subscribed to the Rice Share Guys channel, please subscribe. There's news, resources, and a ton of tips from a bunch of awesome collaborators. If you're curious about who I am and what I do, my name is Cecily and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive. You can hit me up on YouTube or 
Facebook. That's it. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.